Guys, what up? Welcome back, Gambler. Been a little bit. It's been a few days since I've uh, done some recording, but it is Saturday, where this is like week three, uh, the second week of 25 man next. But this is going to be, uh, I just, just kind of reflect on where we are in the expansion. We're in the Wrath of Lich King. And some of you guys have gotten you guys to up to 80. Maybe you're working on your alts, but you're like, holy crap. Okay. Cooking. I need cooking like on. On, I need cooking. I need fishing. I need, I need to get my my professions up. This one's gonna be on cooking. So like, let's say you have four characters right now, and just like me, these cooking dailies are extremely valuable in Wrath. Okay, how do we get them up fast? How do we get them up? Get them up efficiently? So yes, I am on my druid. I have got my boomkin off spec, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. How easy this is, and explain why i'm standing in westfall okay so for cooking it's really simple to start getting cooking up so you guys literally you will start in stormwind okay you're going to go to the cooking vendor that's in the trade not trade district the put the map right real quick so we're going to go like this we're going to go into Stormwind. it's an old town right where this mailbox is okay got this mailbox that's where the not only is the cooking vendor there but there's also the upstairs above the cooking master is the master of cooking recipes you want to go up there and i'm going to unpack this so there i'm going to hit you with a, a few different ideas here so <clears throat> back in the day when um not back in the day but any so if, right now if you're to look up a leveling guide for this game during vanilla during the burning crusade during wrath of lich king this area that i'm standing right now is one of those areas that if you are somebody that enjoys just grinding or being extremely efficient at not only xp but how we're going to manipulate cooking in this area these crawlers okay how the game was designed was at any given time these mobs that I'm standing right next to always have to have four of them up. This little batch, if you guys can see where I'm standing, I'm standing right here in Westfall. Okay, there's another pack of crawlers up here, and there's actually another pack of crawlers down here. But there's three different locations in a layer at any given time that you can do this, what I'm going to show. So the game was designed that these crawlers, there always has to be four of them up. So you see this, we've got about, let's see, there's five here, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's some in the water. So like there's, oh, right now there's 10 crawlers in here. Okay, so getting back to the cooking idea. So getting cooking from one to 150, extremely easy. Getting back to when you go and you pick up your first, your level one cooking. Okay, we're gonna open this up. You can make spiced bread from the cooking, um, there's a cooking supplier right there. You get the uh, simple flour and the mild spices and you get your cooking up to 40 just by standing next to the cooking uh, trainer, okay? Then you come out here, you can't, like you're only level 40, you can't get level 50. So, but uh, what you're gonna pick up in this area, this is gonna take like 10 minutes to get to 150. And I'm gonna show you. I know this video is long, I'm explaining the idea behind coming out here and doing this. So the mob, these mobs are gonna, going to drop the crawler claws and the clan meat, okay? So during Wrath of the Lich King, okay, um, the, uh, let's see, so we're gonna go like this. So the, we're just, I'm just, I'm just gonna go like this. So this area, you just, you literally, all you got to do is kind of have an AOE ability. So I'm on my Boonkin, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm a Resto Druid, but I have my off spec. And this is, this is just insane. So watch this. So literally hit Starfall and watch this. Like I said, the game has to, has to force respawn more of these crabs out. They, it has to. These, these instantly respawn because of how the game was designed. So literally you just come out here. And you just, your, your, your main goal is to just loot crabs. That's all you're doing. So I literally just come out here, hit Starfall. And then my main thing, all I do is I come back out here and, and rock around and pick up 
20 bodies. Like you guys can see how fast this is. I understand that, you know, you can do this, like, like you can probably be this efficient with a lot of other classes, like Fire Mage, uh, Hunters, all that good stuff, Multi-Shots, all that good stuff. But the reason I feel like that this area right here is so, is so good for this is because you get the Crawler. You can see this. You get the, uh, sh wow, well, my, my bags are full. So we're going to go like this. So this is another thing that's kind of a, a perk for having your Traveler's Mammoth as you can open up and sell stuff. But your bags are going to fill up really fast, especially because what for whatever reason, they didn't let this fine sand back very high. But you guys can see, you're just kind of selling. Got some random, you didn't come out here. This is, a this is actually a terrific spot to level enchanting as well. If you're not looking to buy um, these crawlers, the, not this batch of crawlers, but the, the crawlers that are up here, they, they drop a lot of those green chest plates. That you drop, they drop so many of them. You can just disenchant them and then re-enchant your stuff. But getting back to doing this, so you can see how fast oh, these... So these crawler claws are what you want, and this clam meat is what you want. You can see this. I've only been out... I literally only did this for like five minutes. And you can see, most of my job is just picking up bodies. I hit Starfall, they instantly die, pick up, and like I said, the game has to always keep, keep up for crabs at all times. So you can see them literally respawning in front of us and just dying, respawning, dying, respawning, dying, because the game has been designed a certain way to force the respawns on these. So, like, this area is really, really good for leveling. If you are level 10, 12, you can go, you can grind on the crawlers up here from level 10 to, like, level 14, level 14 to level 17, level 17 to level 20. That's all I do whenever I, whenever I start a new guy. I come out here and I grind on these guys for, like, nine levels, okay? And you guys can see why. You're never, ever going to run out of, these guys are neutral, so they're not going to aggro on you. You're never going to aggro anything that you don't want and then you can you can level cooking and chanting off these guys as well like this is the these mob these are probably one, some of the most important mobs in the game just because of the fact that they have forced respawn times on them so that's the concept so you can turn around and you can see this uh let's let's loop let's just loot a little bit more of these so your full-time job is just going around looting all the bodies And then uh, we'll get one more batch, and then I can show you, like it's suit, like Wrath of the Lich King did it, did, fix, at least fixed how the uh, these small bar the, the the clams actually stack, the, the the clam stacking is insane now, so you, it's not filling up your bags in 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 two seconds. But coming out here, you'd actually have to have like five or six bag or all five of your bags completely empty. Now at least the barnacles or the um, the clams actually do stack. So that's really nice. We're going to finish up here collecting the last of these bodies. And I can show you just how, how efficient, like, like how fast that this is. Like if you only need like 20 or 30 of the crawler claws and then, you know, 20 or 30 of the, uh, the crawler meets, you're going to get this done in like five minutes, 10 minutes. And you can just come back out here and level cooking on three or four of your seventies. Just rinse and repeat this, rinse and repeat this. And at least you can get cooking up to like 150 on f like three or four tunes in like 45 minutes. And so like at least you're, you're to that point. So I'll finish up this, open this up. Now do that. So literally just click all these clams and you're going to get a bunch of clam meat. You got the clam, the, the, uh, the crawler meat and the crawler claws. And now you've got all your materials for leveling cooking. And it took, it took like zero time. So you can see this cooked crab claw. You buy this recipe from that master recipe vendor in, next to the cooking uh, trainer in Stormwind. So hopefully this is helpful. You guys can see this. This this recipe only requires crawler claws at level 85 
and then from level 40 to level 50, yeah, you're going to have to come up here. So you can come up here. You're already in Westfall, okay? I'll explain this for two seconds. You can actually, I mean, okay, so let's say I already used Starfall. Like I, like I was saying, if I use Starfall on that pack and try to get the uh, Murloc fins, they are using a cooking recipe. The problem is the respawn, the respawn times. There's not very many mobs in the game that have forced respawns. So that's why these areas are so crucial. At least, like, cooking from 1 to 150 is free. Like, you got to think, like, that is just, like, the most insane thing ever, like, in a game. Like, you can go come out there and get cooking from 1 to 15 in, like, 50, in, in, in 15 minutes. Like, yeah, you can make the, like, if, if you have a bunch of gold, yeah, go buy go buy this stuff in the auction house. But if I don't want to spend, you know, two or 300 gold, I can just come out there and do that in 10 minutes. So that, that's the purpose of this video is just to show you guys how to be a little bit more efficient, especially if you're going to be doing this on, uh, I need to get cooking on three tunes. That's why I'm doing this. And I, I've done this. Oh, I did this back in the day. Like I've like these, these three areas are known to people that like to grind, you know, for 20 years, just because of how extremely efficient it is to go and grind on those crawlers. Well, we're going to come out here. And the only reason I'm out here is to kill a bunch of these boars. I'm going to kill these boars, get their meat. And uh, we have to bridge the gap of these 10 points in, uh, we got to get from 40 to 50. And then from 50, we can go back to Stormwind, get our trainer, and then uh, just make, um, there's boiled clams. And that's what you use the, uh, the clam meat for. So clam meat or boiled clams gets you to like 80 and then you use the crawler claws and then that gets you up to like 125, 150. So that, that's, that's, that, that's legit all you have to do. And uh, you've already got like, you just go out there and you've got your supplies. Now you're just kind of, it's weird. Like maybe, maybe they change it a little bit in Wrath that you have to, um, maybe the, uh, spice bread got you up to 50 and then they kind of changed it just so you're kind of like not getting everything kind of for free inventory is full. they don't care my inventory is for as long as i get the uh chunk of boar meat but we're gonna go like this i'm finishing this up right in front of you guys oh we need one more so this is gonna run just a little bit uh, a few more minutes because what i'm gonna do is, is i'm gonna teleport back to doll we're gonna go to stormwind and we're gonna get I'm going to show you guys how high we get this. So I'll do it right in front of you guys. So we're going to go back to Dahl. We're going to go to Stormwind. And we're going to go back to the cooking area. I'll show you where. The, and I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys where that master of cooking recipes is. And you guys can look at that. It, the guy sells so many recipes for cooking. And you're going to have, you have so many options for leveling. Like for whatever reason, if, if you have a bunch of mats from back or a bunch of raw meat from back in the day you guys can get cooking up extremely fast at least to 150 like that's one that's one third of the way through cooking 450 is the cap for cooking and uh you're able to get that extremely efficiently like yeah like obviously you can go to the auction house and do it but uh we're gonna head to uh for you guys Got finally, you guys can see, got the old chopper, got the chopper done like four days ago. Super, super cool. Uh, just uh, taking a little break from uh, doing any, I'm not, I'm not going to mine for like, besides doing my Titan Steel dailies or cooldowns. Uh, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> Heading off, I'll show you guys where this uh, the cooking uh, trainer is downstairs. Oop. 
very important area right here. You guys have no idea. So coming upstairs, this guy right here is the master of cooking recipes. A lot of a lot of options here. So this is where you buy the cooked crab claw. You can do uh, all kinds of stuff, gooey, whatever, Red Ridge goulash. Um, a lot of options here, okay? But we've already got our recipe. I came here first. I've already bought the, uh, the recipe for that. So, but we're going to go, we're going to use the cooking fire real quick. We will finish up our boar meat. So we'll use these 10, get these 10 levels. Hopefully, hopefully, oh, like this. I supply only the you browse your goods. This is where, this is the guy where you buy the simple flour and the mild spices to get your first 40 points in cooking so you can just resell this back to this guy uh make all these hopefully it doesn't turn yellow that'd be super super troll and then i would just stop the video <laughs> kind of don't go orange oh it did let's see we get five for five. Oh, we got one for one two for two come on baby don't mess me here three four troll me right now Oh, we got it. Hey, look at that. We got 50. Holy smokes. It turned yellow. We got five for five. All right, journeyman cooking. And there's boiled clams right there. So that's perfect. So it gives you boiled clams. And you can see we've got like 108. I was there for like seven to 10 minutes. We got 108 crawler clam meat, which is insane. So go back to our cooking. And let's see. Boiled clams. Oh, we need refreshing spring water so Open this guy does not sell this okay we have one more we have one more spot we have to go to so you guys can see this it doesn't just hand you everything okay there's another step to this so the general goods i believe uh back in the trade district is what sells the refreshing spring water so that's where you're gonna have to go and uh it takes two seconds not two seconds but 45 seconds to go back and go buy a bunch of those. And then we already have the recipe so I can stand there. And the other change that they made with Wrath is your cooking fire no longer requires um, items to make the cooking fire. So while we're sitting here, we're just gonna make our cooking fire. And uh, let's see. What can I help you with? Those are good. Refreshing spring water, there it is. So we'll buy a bunch of these. Buy as much as we can, sell that, sell that. Perfect. Uh, refreshing spring water. So we got a bunch of these. Okay. Now we we'll go out here. Go to our general. Make our campfire. And we will get this up. We'll see how high we can get it. So we got cooking. Uh, we bought enough clammy. Oh, really? Oh, we got. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. So the crawler clammy is different than the just the regular that comes out of the uh, clams. So got 48 of these but it should be plenty to get us up so we'll see how how far up we get to this just standing here now we should be able to just stand here and cook so five minutes of running around uh in storm wind not not five minutes three minutes don't running around in storm wind 15 minutes out in westfall come back here cook everything up we'll see how high we can get this now it's just a waiting game so we are 64. You guys can watch this. Maybe fast forward a little bit if you want to. Um, it's going to take just a little bit to get these all all done. Plus, we already got the 150. I'm, I'm curious if we can't hit 150 on this. This rest, the rest of the, the this next recipe that we have is for it level 85. So uh, you guys can see. I mean, we, look at that. We have... 55 of these it took me two seconds it took i have 55 of these crawler claws so just just in a really insane spot to i mean i could legit like just think about this i could have just stayed out there on my druid and just gathered enough for another 10 minutes and got enough uh, materials and just sent them to my other characters so you guys can kind of see how if you have one guy that wh what's preventing you from just using your druid or your balanced druid to gather all these materials up and then just send them to your other characters. So just an insane. And not only that, like I've got engineering on my guy so I can throw down a mailbox and just sit there 
and gather up, you know, 20 stacks of each, send 10 stacks to this guy or five stacks to this guy, five stacks to that guy, and just do it from right there. And I've got my mammoth to, to sell stuff or you can just delete stuff. Just, just really, really extremely efficient. So we've got the, like I said, we've got the cooked crab claw. So we're going to learn that and we'll see. And look at that. We can make 55 of them. So we're at level 99 now. And we just do this. So yeah, just really, really nice. Uh, just rinse and repeat this on two more guys or three more guys. And, uh, you're well on your way to having, you know, 400 cooking on however many characters that you want. So this will be, I will make two more uh, videos for this. The next one we'll get from uh, 150 to 300. And then on the next one, I'll get from like 300 to 400. Just so you can at least start doing your cooking dailies. Cooking dailies might be less uh, for Wrath of Lich King. I'm just getting, I'm getting you close, right? Yeah, really nice. This is just some of the, this is the thing. Like these, these guides don't tell you this. I looked up a leveling guide for cooking. It wants you to use meats. It wants you to go out and get uh, chunks of boar meat and shit. It doesn't it doesn't say this stuff. This is just extremely efficient way to do this. And uh I mean I've known about it for a long time, but hey, you know what? Getting everybody else caught up. Look at that. We're gonna get to one fifty, man. This is just free. Look how free this is. Yeah, we're almost done here. I will end the video. We're going to be making two more of these. And then obviously, like, I'm not going to sit here and level cooking in front of you guys. That video will take too, way too long. But maybe I can make a video explaining the areas that, for example, so... I know I need to level cooking on my druid anyways. I can just go out and make sure that I fish in certain areas. That's going to allow, give me materials for cooking. So on the next one, or maybe on my cooking, uh, on either on the cooking or the fishing video, I will, ex I will have in my inventory, the materials that I got from cooking or got from fishing and I use for cooking and mo see most of the time, you want to be leveling fishing and cooking together because you can you can buy the fish or you can you can fish it up the fish and then cook the fish and you do them at the same time. So tell that until next time guys, this is Gambler. Hopefully you enjoyed these. Use this method in that that spot on however many guys you want to get cooking up on and getting one one to one to one forty five in like 20 minutes is just super nice. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. This is Gambler, guys. Peace.